Hello students, today we are going to start with new uh, chapter that is chapter number 3 from nursing education. The topic, the chapter is the instructional media and types. Today we are going to do instructional aids. The types of instructional aids, its uses, selection, preparation and utilization. First of all, the introduction, technological media or learning device help the teaching process. Technological media and learning device. What are the technological media like uh, internet, computer, like uh, internet, computer, and other devices which we use for learning? Learning made more concrete with the help of technological media helps to motivation, clarification, and stimulation because everything available there. First of all, we can show in front of the students, then explain, show and tell. Significant gain in informational learning, retention, because there are, in here, the students can see the things and uh, can, uh, can receive the explanation and recall thinking and reasoning activities. Also, their interest, imagination of the students, better assimilation, Better simulation means to understand till the depth and personal growth and development. Instructional media, also known as AV aids, audio visual aid. Audio means we can listen, then video, we can listen as well as we can visualize the images to the, to the related topic. Then next is an effective instructional media. It's very effective because it helps to clarify the concepts or data which uh, uh, are present in the presentation. <clears throat> then highlight most significant point increasing audience retention because it, it looks like very interesting. Focusing audience attention then creating interest to learn because there, there are two way process audio as well as visual then stimulating thought injecting humor a good aid is like a window it should not call attention to itself it should just let in the light then there are the famous proverb given by confucius i see and i forget i hear and i remember i do and i understand I hope you will clear this. When we read something, 10% of what we read, we can remember. Hearing words, 20% we remember. Seeing words, 30% we remember. Watching a movie, looking at an exhibit, watching a demonstration, seeing it done on location, 50% we can remember because there are two dimension, listening and watching participation in a discussion giving a talk okay 70 percent we can remember which we say doing a dramatic presentation simulating a real experience doing the real thing because we can learn by doing more that's why the 90 percent of things we can remember after two weeks okay Next is importance of instructional media. Instructional media are more, very much important because it attracting the attention of the learner. Then it create or develop the interest. Then it adjusting the learning climate. Everyone present in that particular room want to learn the things. Promoting acceptance of an idea. Then to increase the learner's motivation to avoid the learner's board because there are uh, uh, the explanation given by the teacher and th that explanation present in the form of picture in front of the audience. Then to make the learners easy to understand the instructional material to make the teaching learning process more systematic. Then. 43% more likely to be persuaded. Persuaded means we can uh, persuaded here we can 
learn about the reasoning behind the, that particular thing then learning is improved up to 200 percent retention is improved up to 38 percent with the help of aviates time to explain complex subject is reduced by 25 to 40 percent then the definition instructional media are those sensory objects or images which initiate or stimulate and reinforce learning it can enhance the idea of learning. Instructional media are those devised by the use of which communication of ideas between persons and groups in various teaching and training situation is helped. The next is these are termed to be multi-sensory materials because uh, hearing sense used here and uh, we can see, we can hear that's why it's multi-sensory. Another definitions, media are various components in learner's environment which support the learner's learn. Media are physical means which are used to send messages to the student and stimulate them to learn. Then the next is instructional media encompasses all the materials and physical means an instructor and teacher might use to implement instructions and facilitate learners achievement of instructional objectives. Next is aviates are those aids which help in completing the triangular process of learning because aviates stimulate the learner to learn in the learning process then the learner motivate and everything their doubt clarify at the time of the lecture okay then types of instructional media there are various types of instructional media based on the sense they stimulate audio visual audio we can hear visual we can see visual also two three kind like non-projected non-objected projected still and aviate audio visual projected and motion multimedia also present here then according to the learners control over them learner controlled or non-controlled type of experience they provide and according to their reach individuals small or large groups and mass media then the next is audio what include in audio voice any human center of the message gramophone records audio tapes Telephonic conversation, then visual, we can see and read, textbooks, supplementary books, magazines, newspapers, clippings from published material, duplicated written material, then visual non-projected, what comes under, flat picture, cutouts, poster, charts, graphs, cartoons, etc., visual non-projected three dimension, models, mock-up, display materials, globes, 3D, specimen, animate or inanimate. Then the next is visual projected still, slides, film strips, OHP, micro image system, microfilm, microcard, AV, audio visual projected motion, film, TV, CCTV, video, cassettes. Multimedia packages, slide plus tape, slide plus tape, slide plus tape plus workbook radio plus slide plus poster tv plus workbook then new emerging teleconferencing cable television broadcastings communication satellites etc then vernon 1996 states that there are six kinds of media we can see next drawing or teacher more drawings still pictures, audio recording, motion picture and TV, real object, simulation and models, programmed and computer assisted instruction. Next is commonly used instructional media. What they are? Chalkboard. First one is chalkboard or blackboard which we use in our classrooms. 30 by 40 inches painted dark mostly green color, white color, black color then old, it is oldest 
cheaper and universally used aviate not uh, audio it's visual aid audio also there here present because the teachers talk with the student then uses makes group instruction more concrete and understandable in our classes there are 40 to 60 students are there and we can easily use the chalkboard for them then set standards of neatness accuracy and speed can restore the attention of the learners vague statement can be clarified with the help of chalkboard initiate oral visual sensations means of motivation easy to give lecture notes scope we can write the important point from our lecture on the chalkboard scope for a lot of creative and decorative works we can do anything types of chalkboard fixed blackboard on easel easel, easel uh, i think you remember on our stage when we celebrate uh, any health day and uh, we can show we can show the uh, theme of that particular day and the sport behind the board that is easel then the roller board roller board uh, roller board uh, which we can use uh, in uh, which we use in our multipurpose hall when we uh, when we give any kind of presentation on the projector then graphic boards magna board magna board is like a slates which we use in our in our uh, school class then fixed fixed board are board green board uh, the board which are fixed in our classrooms then if the board color is green there are white or yellow chalks used on that gray yellow chalks may be used red color green or yellow then orange blue or light green yellow blue chalk then rose purple or dark blue chalk then black if the black color black then any light color we can use limitations of chalkboard students heavily depends on teacher doesn't care for the students individual needs teacher can complete the topic they do not uh, give their give his or her intention to the individual student makes lessons a dull routine constant use can affect the quality of the board okay rules write clearly and do not overcrowd information letters and drawings should be large in size don't use abbreviations if your students know the full word then you can use underline the keywords or statements difficult illustrations to be drawn before then use color chalks for aesthetic appeal students feel good when you use colorful chalk rubbing vertically first and then horizontally to prevent from the dust then don't stand in front but to the side when you explain something with the help of this aid use of large scales protectors compass for large geometric figures then next is bulletin board it is a device for displaying study material or current news in a visualized form okay bulletin board use to display the news because so that everyone can see that it is the work of the students by students and for the students active and exciting display element in the classroom purpose of bulletin board motivates the learner broadens the sensory experience beyond the student's world then gives correct initial information, supplement and correlate the instruction and saves time. Items that can be placed in the bulletin board are photographs we can we can publish displayed sorry displayed on the bulletin board, newspapers, cuttings, all creative works, group activities, announcements. You know, on our, on our entrance, college entrance, 
there are board which are full of photograph displayed there then uh, then ne near the stairs there are uh, there are board present here the time your timetable displayed then newspaper cuttings are also displayed there then next is advantages explain important event or announcements on bulletin board then report social activities in the school share knowledge and stimulate curiosity summarize and highlight the events serves as a introduction to a particular topic then using guidelines themes of message convey to be clear simple interesting and balanced then arrange the information in orderly way using appropriate material don't crowd the written board give suitable title large enough to see from the distance use neutral color to the black ba background layout to be attractive types of written board planner board magnetic board fixed type movable and foldable type next is flannel board a rigid board covered using flannel cloth felt sheet wool cotton paper or suede cloth things to be pasted should have a flannel or sand paper on the reverse side it can be used throughout the discussion pictures should be large enough to view by the learners then magnetic board iron board coated with porke uh, porcelain porcelain is a kind of polish in dark or green colors writings using chalk sticks markers or crayons pictures can be pasted using disk magnets then works as a combination of chalkboard and flannel board to display illustrations drawings painting or sketches photographs exact visual recordings of things which will occur in real life situation for example we have done a sports meet health day then celebration celebrate the uh, our college annual day then celebration of the florence nightingale birthday and so many other days which are the related to real life situation may be black and white or colored photographs mounted or non mounted used either as a display in a bulletin board or projected with a projector it should be accurate prominent and understanding then flash card which you you have usually used in your presentation prepared as a single topic and presented serially for example you can prepare the flash card for sign and symptoms and you can uh, use for only one topic then compact card which is flashed before to bring an idea size 10 by 12 or 22 by 28 inches used for group of 30 members and less message can be brief simple line drawing or photographs or cartoons and the content will be written in simple words behind each cards can be used individually or with other charts advantages of flash cards attract attention conveys messages quickly dynamic flexible maintains continuity of the lecture then easy to prepare portable economic can be used for illiterate groups disadvantages we can use for illiterate group to draw the pictures of the related topic disadvantages used for limited member of people prone for easy damage time consumption in preparation is more posters visual combination of illustration of messages convey to people uses advertising an event or product campaigning for a cause giving directive popularizing a slogan then drawing attention toward desirable action and values giving warning then propaganda features of good poster brevity concise message we can give with the help of poster simplicity easily understandable idea single and relevant idea you have to write on that layout color should there is attractive and suitable color should be used display in adequate lighting so so that everyone 
can see clear diagrams simple drawing showing interrelationship by means of line and symbols for example stick figures science figures geometrical diagrams facial expression then can better used for summary and review a good diagram should technically correct neatly drawn and explained well labeled and explained can be moved and seen from all angles then the next is narrative chart mm, illustrative visual media in visual media there are lots of thing narrative charts the cause of effect chart the chain chart the evolution chart pie chart time or time table chart strip strip ts chart flow chart tabulation chart gynecology chart job chart flip chart and overlay chart then map maps you know the maps of india map of india map of world graphic representation of the earth's surface relief maps historical maps and geographical maps graphs depicts numerical or quantitative relationship or statistical data in the form of visual symbols for example pie charts pie graphs bar graph line graph pictograms ogive and histogram you can uh, study this in your statistics lecture if you remember then projected aviates the uses of aviates appear to our senses and open better avenues of learning perception of information is better and its retention is improved when we see something then they it it retain for long time brings the re realities of our world into the classroom abstract ideas to make them more concrete economical in long run because of their repeated uses and coverage of large number of students we can cover the cover many students if we use the aviates then reinforcing strengthening it means strengthening reinforcing enforcing the spoken or written words by the teacher helps the teacher in complementing her teaching efforts helps in overcoming the language barrier and provide more class idea clear ideas provides a variety of instructional methods and motivate the students in independent learning reduces the verbalism and thus reduce the boredom in the class next is why we use the aviates to gain the attention of the student recall prerequisite recall prerequisite we can obtain uh, we can obtain the students present objectives to the learners present new contents support learning through examples and visual elaboration elicit student response elicit means obtain the students we can get the student response provide feedback to them and take feedback from them then enhance retention and transfer assess performance next is selection of instructional media how we select it principles behind instructional media should suit the teaching objective what are the objectives of your topic teaching or subject unique characteristics of the special group of the learner which class you are going to teach then age level what grade what standard of the student which age group are there then specific educational values and stimulate interest and motivation true representative of the real things helps in the realization of desires and learning objectives next is there are some criteria for selecting instructional media first one subject to relatedness the teaching or topic we are using in aviates the subject totally related to the learner then supplementary role it enhancing the learning 
curiosity in the students then it give the accuracy then accessibility everyone can easily get the idea or access variety it give the variety to the uh, learner and learner do not feel bored in the class then cost effectiveness previewing utility then factors in selection of media there are various factors which are considered in the selection of media institutional resource constraints institutions provide classroom to us provide exact devices to us for use this media course content and appropriateness then learner characteristics teachers attitude and skills level courses learning objectives the learning relationship learning location time and media richness then the next is practicability student appropriateness and instructional appropriateness is the instructional media is the intended media practical cost effective time efficient and understood by the instructor is the presentation adaptive for the learner responses what is the range of viewing or hearing distance of the use of media these all kinds of questions are there is the instructional media practicable appropriate to the students and it is appropriate instructions given to the learner then the next is there are some objectives behind the learning uh, instructional media there are learning objective enhance the intellectual skill cognitive strategy verbal information attitude and motor skills okay <coughs> then the next is learning objective in learning objective we can we can enhance our cognitive skills and attitude what comes under cognitive knowledge comprehension comprehension means understanding application how we apply the knowledge analysis analysis the knowledge it is effective or non effective synthesis and evaluation then what comes come under skill oral and written communication present in the group is it problem solving creativity computer team are there then leadership then attitude motivation to learn and excitement about topic or not then if we talk about the institutional constraint then what kind of things the institution can provide equipment availability classroom connectivity software and material availability after that the course content entire course content related to entire course then individual session then learner sensory channel cognitive ability motivation and class size teachers teaching philosophy technology skills then relationship professor student 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 outsider and student then location <coughs> together apart time synchronous and asynchronous media richness plain text through multimedia the next is constraint in media selection constraint or which kind of barrier instructional facilitation there are facilities available for instruction then production constraint there are productivity of the media selection and availability of the material there are material available or not then guidelines in preparation the material must be easy to see and understand simple and direct easy to handle and transparent emphasize the key point good working condition time and place appropriate colors should be natural to the related items appealing attractive clear and visible please to the senses accurate 
represents the things that are common and understandable conveys up to date ideas words should be clear brief visible simple and with required space in between create interest and positive attitude in the learners after that utilization of instructional media the principle behind principle of selection suit to the unique objectives of learning and needs of the learners adaptation to the intellectual maturity and previous learning experience familiarity with the advantages and disadvantages of instructional media in use educational values besides being in interesting and motivating true representative of the things need to teach these kind of principles present in the utilization of instructional media then principle of preparation is it cost effective way of preparation commercial instructional media versus teacher made instructional media which we can use for the preparation preparation using locally available materials principle of presentation plan the use of instructional media visual media should not be confused with entertainment working condition should be checked before the use then care to prevent damage maximum visualization of the media direction in between the presentation to be avoided to the maximum to decrease the distractions then principle of physical control principle of response evaluation then importance instructional media never replace a teacher but it supplement the teaching process supplement means it enhancing the teaching process but it never replace the teacher then next is steps in utilization first of all review the instructional goals which goals we are going to obtain then determine the best medium review existing media prepare a new media conduct a formative evaluation and implement or apply then evaluate if need revise again then teachers role in effective use planning know clearly the objective of presentation before the presentation teachers know the objective then plan well in advance according to the objective teachers can plan before that then anticipate the size of the audience plan the variety of colorful and vivid aviates plan in advance about the time of presentation then preparation place and seating arrangement then anticipate the need for special efforts make sure that all the equipments are in working condition rehearsing or reviewing so that we can know about the condition of the equipments sequence the aids in order in the order of their use keep them within the reach so that our time should save then presentation motivate and stress the key point then present in the right time and proper sequence display only one aid at a time otherwise the student distract then remove all unrelated items from the presentation then stand besides stand besides sorry stand beside and not in front so that it it will be visible speak facing the audience and not by side evaluation evaluation using discussion and dispel misunderstanding if any then undertake a follow up study thank you very much thanks thank you very much for your attention